After a hard-fought game against UCLA, the Huskies pulled ahead in the final minutes, defeating the Bruins 86-75. to The win places UW number one in the Pac-10 Conference. I thought we won this game as a team. There were a lot of people that stepped up and contributed. Uh, that's the only way you beat a team of UCLA's caliber. But we just completed a, a weekend of uh, heavyweight fights here. USC Trojans and the UCLA Bruins are are two heavyweights. And we had to have a heavyweight response. That heavyweight response was an uphill battle for the Huskies as UCLA gained a substantial lead in the opening minutes of the game. We came out of the gates and uh, all of a sudden we were down 9-1 and we just said, all right, stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan. We got to go back to, we made a couple mistakes, but we just got to keep playing, keep digging ourselves back into it. Um, then once that happened, you know, we just played consistently the same level the rest of the game. We were just an average team in the first half. Uh, we allowed them to get out ahead of us. We lost their shooters. I thought we settled down in the second half and played pretty good basketball. This year it has become a little bit of a pattern that we're able to play better in the second half and lock down a little more in the second half. The score remained close until guard Isaiah Thomas scored multiple three-pointers in the final minutes of the game, giving UW a double-digit lead. Huskies running the clock, seconds left, Dentman shoots, it's a miss, UCLA rebounds, but watch Dentman from behind, hustles back, recovers the ball for the Huskies. Same play, Justin Dentman with the ball, he dribble drives, stops at the free throw line, shoots, two points, Huskies. Now what we focus on now is just getting these road wins and you see, uh, at uh, Arizona's and, uh, and then I think that'll really set the foundation for where we, uh, we're trying to go. This has been Andrew Mitrak reporting for the Husky Cast.